Hi, I'm Dr. Sneha Desu. I'm a fitness instructor and a sports and clinical nutrition specialist. In my experience, I've come across many women with different kind of goals. There are women who just want to stay fit. There are women who want to lose weight. And there are women who just want to be able to carry their baby without feeling exhausted. And there are those with actual medical conditions and exercise actually helps. For whatever reasons, if you're not able to hit the gym and work out or go to a park and run or just play a sport, I'm here to help you guys get to your fitness goal. I'll be taking you all through a series of four videos which will be targeting specific muscle groups in your body. Like any other uh, form of exercise guys, make sure you have your doctor's approval before attempting any of the movements that I'll be taking you guys through today. We're going to start off with plank jacks on the floor, alright? So you're just going to be holding a plank and then dropping into plank jacks. It's going to be 1 minute on and 15 seconds off. So I'm starting my timer right now. So holding a plank first, we're just going to be opening up our legs in and out. Make sure you're squeezing your butt while you do this guys or there's going to be unnecessary strain on your lower back. Just in and out. If you think this is too challenging, you're welcome to just step in, step out like this. It works the same way guys. Just going to burn a little less calories and jumping in and out. And that looks good. So keep moving. Doing this for a couple of seconds. Remember it's 60 seconds on guys. Might feel like a long work period. Key is trying to keep your reps consistent. Great going. You might start feeling it a little bit in your shoulders guys. That's okay. Alright. Hold yourself, squeeze your abs and just stay in that plank position while you're moving your feet in and out and squeezing that butt. One last rep here. All good. The next one, we get 15 seconds rest, guys. A lot of recovery period. So make sure you're breathing really well during that recovery period, all right? I'm gonna bring my step up here. It's going to be a one leg box step over. So one foot up here. The other, I'm just gonna be moving side to side. You can always start off slow, guys, until you hold your balance and then get into quick reps, all right? So it's going to be 30 seconds one side and then I'm going to change feet in the next 30 seconds. That's one. Remember to push your butt out every time you drop down, guys. You'll be feeling a huge load on the front of your legs as well as the back of your legs while you do this exercise. And we're going to change it up for the next 30 seconds, placing your foot forward like this, top of the box, and just moving sideways. Remembering to squeeze your butt the entire time. Just one slow and controlled reps guys it's never about the speed when it comes to lower body workouts or any form of strength training yeah All right two more reps here and finishing it up All right next thing we have is a squat jump to a forward punches I'm gonna be picking up my dumbbells for this one kilo dumbbells guys that's all we need we can do so many things with these Alright, every time I jump up after squat, I'm just going to get into two punches, dropping down again, coming up, two punches and doing the same thing all over. Every time you come up, dropping down into two punches guys, alright. Keep moving with me, keep alternating your hands while you do the same. So make sure there's no load on your lower back guys, it's all in the front of your legs and your butt, alright. Nice work. Halfway through guys, remember if this is hurting, you're more than welcome to just drop into a squat and just keep punching forward, right? Or you can even pulse like this or again, coming back into a squat jump. Last few reps guys, we're just going to go a little lower, keep punching forward and keep alternating your hands every time. Last 10 seconds here. Deeper squats, harder punches, full extension of your arms, guys, every single time. And last rep here. Oh, good. So the next one is going to be an inchworm to a push-up. You have 10 seconds rest, so all you have to do is lay down my mat again. You're going to start off in this position and keep walking forward with your hands. Make sure you have straight legs. So starting from here, I'm just going to go all the way forward. If you can, adding a push-up at the end, coming back up, 
with straight legs, you're just gonna come all the way back like this, all right? You feel a nice pull at the back of your legs, guys, working your hammies, one of the major muscles of your lower body. Make sure you're holding your straight legs at all times, no bend like this. When you're dropping into a push-up, straight back, butt in one line with your body. All right, halfway through. You don't have to add the push-up, guys, but it makes it a little more challenging. And it's gonna work your upper body as well. All right, couple more reps. And that's it. A little lower. Last few reps, we're just gonna go a little lower down with the push-up. And coming back up, last rep. All right. I'm gonna move my mat for the next one. It's gonna be a mountain climber, hip opener. So, regular mountain climbers, you're just gonna pull one knee up towards your chest. This time, we're just gonna take our feet wide out, starting in plank position. One leg coming to either side of your hands like this. All right? This is great for your hip flexors, guys, as well as your butt, because you're driving the entire movement with just your butt, all right? If you think you're more flexible, you're gonna take your foot all the way out. I'm gonna start off with a beginner level. Nice work. Halfway through, just gonna, just gonna show it to you from the side. Keep moving, make sure your chest is up. At all times, no drooping of your shoulders. Nice work. And last few reps here. Last 10 seconds. Keep breathing. All right. Two more. And coming back. This exercise is going to be a plank shuffle to a T. You're gonna start off in the plank position and then take three steps out with both your legs as well as your arms and then open up into a T. So I'm gonna start from here, taking three steps out, both my hands as well as my legs and then opening up into a T, all right? Coming back again to where you started and opening up again into a T. Remember guys, this is great, just not just for your core, we're also going to be working on your mid to your upper back as well as the back of your shoulders. All right. If you think you're not able to hold a plank here and open up into a T and just one hand, you're going to drop to your knees and do the same thing. All right. Coming back again into a plank, shuffling to the side if you'd like, dropping onto your knees and opening up. That's it guys. Just a couple more reps here. If you'd like, you're going to drop onto your knees and do the same thing again. One, this might seem a little challenging guys because not many women have great upper body strength as well as core strength. All right, so this is how we're gonna build that strength. All right, coming back, the next one, seventh exercise is gonna be a Bulgarian squat. So I'm gonna pull my step out so for this, picking up two dumbbells. So one foot up on the step up, one foot a little far out like this, all right? Every time you drop down, make sure you're holding a 90 degree angle with your legs, all right? If you'd like, you're gonna add a front arc to this. It's a great exercise for the top part of your shoulder as well as the front of your shoulders. And remember guys, Bulgarian squats are great for your butt. This is way better than a regular lunge because the back foot is elevated as you can see, all right? I'm gonna change this up at 30 seconds. Same thing on the other leg. But make sure, holding a wide stance out, guys. If you're making your knee come beyond your toe, it's gonna, it's out of the range of motion of your knee and that, that's gonna cause injuries, all right? So you're gonna make sure there's a 90 degree angle between your legs. All right, nice one. Make it a slow and controlled movement. A few more reps here. And we're almost done. And last rep. All right. Moving on to the next one. It's going to be a box jump. Since we don't have a uh, box, I'm just gonna use my step up for the same thing. Remember, you can use a regular step, or if you can just put on some pillows, jump onto pillows, whatever you like, guys. So one jump, coming off, 
Remember that every time you jump, full extension of your hip, and then you're gonna jump off, all right? Remember to land softly on your toes, guys. So there's very little pressure on your knees, right? Full extension again at the top, coming back to the floor. Nice work. This is a great exercise for your calf muscles, guys. So you're driving it up, not just with your calf, but also your glutes. Halfway through, doing good. If you like, you can pick up weights and just hold the weights to the side and do the same thing. This is a great, great plyometric exercise, guys. Anything explosive is basically making you increase your fast muscle fibers, right? Making you way more energetic than you can actually be regular exercises. And last one. All right, so the next one, it's going to be a lateral shuffle. While I'm doing that, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be doing a kickback, right? So for this, starting in this position, guys, forearm perpendicular to your arm, you're just gonna shuffle sideways, open up into a kickback, all right? This targets a very tiny muscle on the back of your arm, guys, your triceps, while you're shuffling side to side, obviously working your legs, yeah? So 30 seconds, I'm gonna be using one arm, and 30 seconds, the other. Make sure chest is up, back is straight at all times, guys. And also, your elbow needs to be really close to your body, all right? I'm gonna shift sides, the same thing on the other side, right? Every time you drop one foot to the floor, just gonna drop into a kickback. And halfway through, I'm just gonna change up the sides, all right? Taking it back to my right arm now, opening it up again, guys, the same way elbow really close to your body and coming back to that starting position where your forearm is perpendicular to your arm right chest up guys straight back at all times remember unilateral movements are way more difficult than doing it with both sides guys because less stability more work right a couple more reps here and two more to go last one all right i feel that crazy burn in my arm guys I want to help you do too. So the next one, it's going to be a 45 degree leg abduction. I'm just gonna lay the mat out only half way just for my knees, all right? <laughs> Lifting your leg up at this angle, guys. For those of you who cannot see the angle, it's at a 45 degree angle and you're just gonna be pulsing there, all right? So just, just like this. It's working on the tiny muscle on the side of your butt, guys. It's called glute med. Right. We'll be working that muscle by holding this position and just pulsing there. So five more seconds and I'll be changing sides to work on my left glute med. All right, coming back to the same position, lifting my leg up and then pulsing it there. All right, this might seem very relaxing after all the nine exercises we've done guys. So we want this one and then we'll be repeating all of them one more time. All good. 15 more seconds, guys. Keep feeling that burn in your butt. I'm sure you'll never work this muscle again. All right, keep working with me. One more rep here. All right. So that was the end of your first round, guys. We'll be doing all of this one more time. All right, all 10. Now we'll be moving on to the first exercise to do all 10 exercises one more time, guys. I'm just gonna keep my mat folded like this, starting off with plank jacks, holding a plank position. I'm just gonna open up my legs in and out, all right? Slow, controlled manner. It's never about the speed, guys. Keep insisting on that. Make sure your butt is lowered on in one line with your body, all right? Nice work, guys. Now you would have gotten used to the 60 second work interval. It might just seem pretty easy now, all right? Keep moving with me. Make sure you're breathing, guys. I can feel my heart rate go up right now. I hope it's the same with you guys. Remember guys, exercise is great for even improving your muscle strength, not just, not just your arms and legs, but also your heart muscle, right? So make sure you keep breathing while you're moving. All right, last 10 seconds of the plank jacks, guys. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs. Last few reps to go, and finishing up. 
All right, the second exercise is gonna be a one leg step over. I'm just gonna move my mat, get a step here, all right? So I'm gonna start off in this position, one foot forward, one foot off the step up, all right? So starting off with this position, bending low down, squeezing your butt and moving, guys. Ideally, you're just gonna keep jumping side to side, all right, to feel that burn. If you think it's getting difficult, slow down the reps and take your time, all right? Remember to change sides after 30 seconds. I'm watching my clock. 10 more seconds to go here. All right, changing sides. I'm gonna place the other foot forward, same thing, butt back, and then we're just hopping side to side. All right. If you're feeling the burn in the front of your legs more than your butt, guys, you gotta squeeze your back, all right? And squeeze your butt, move backwards, and then start hopping side to side. Otherwise, you're gonna drop the entire load on the front of your leg. That's not nice. Couple more reps here. Nice one. And last one. All right, now we have the squat jump with the forward punches. So, just moving myself up again. Jumping forward and just punching away, all right? Make sure whenever you're squatting, butt back, chest up, straight back, all right? Blowing. Going down into a squat, coming up, two punches, and we keep doing this. If you think that's tough, just hold the pulse, guys, and keep punching forward, all right? Like I mentioned in the first round, or just add a jump and do the same thing. All good. Halfway through, guys. We're gonna increase the intensity from here. Last few reps. I'm gonna go a little lower down, a deep squat, coming back and punching forward. Keep alternating your arms, guys. Nice work, deeper squats. Gotta feel that burn in the front and the back as well as your glutes, guys. Nice work. Last 10 seconds. Stay with me, we're almost done. All right, two more reps. And last one. All right. The next one, the inchworm to push up. I'm gonna have to lay out my mat. All right. You don't have to add the push up, guys, but make sure starting off in this position with straight legs, yeah? Going all the way down, coming forward, and just dropping into a push up. Coming back again with straight legs. You'll be feeling this at the back of your legs, guys. And of course your arms if you drop into a push-up. All right, try not to come back all the way up. Just gonna hold that position, dropping into a push-up. Let's save the deeper, or tougher push-ups for the end, guys. So just stay with me while we do half push-ups. All right, a couple of more here. All right, now we drop into deep push-ups, going all the way down and coming up. Nice work, guys. Give me two more reps here. All the way down and coming up. All right, so the next one is gonna be a mountain climber, hip opener. So your legs coming wide out. If you'd like, you can also hold on to the mat like this. Just open up your legs in and out, yeah? One foot coming out like this, switching with the other foot. It's one. You gotta have crazy lower ab strength also, guys, to be able to do this. Like I said, nutrition plays a huge role when it comes to any form of physical activity. Just make sure you're loading yourself with a good amount of protein and carbs right after your workout. And keep hydrating yourself, guys. You cannot continue breathing. If there's no water in your body and you're struggling to sweat. Yeah? So a lot of water while you're working out as well as before and after. Let's work. Last 15 seconds here. Almost done. All right. Give me two more reps. And... 
last one. All right. So moving on to the next one, it's going to be a plank shuffle to a T. Like I said, you can also do the T on your knees or off your knees, depending on how comfortable you feel. Starting in the plank position, I'm just gonna shuffle three times to this side, opening up into a T, coming back to the center, shuffling back, and doing the same thing again. All right, butt low down, guys. No arching your hip up or down, yeah? All right, if you think that's difficult, on your knees, but make sure you're opening up your upper body all the way out and coming back to the center. Nice work. Stay with me, guys. We just have a few more reps here. All right. We're gonna have ribbed shoulders and probably be able to see a four pack at the end of this workout. All right. Almost done here. And last rep. All right. Moving on to the next one. It's gonna be a Bulgarian squat. The next exercise I'm gonna do is as well as jumbo. So dropping down into the Bulgarian squat, guys. Remember, I told you you have to hold a 90 degree angle between your legs. Right? So dropping down every time, lifting my dumbbells all the way up and coming back. Right. A few more reps here, and then we'll change sides. Remember to squeeze your butt and go back in time, guys. I don't want you to drop all the load in front of your leg. Let's walk. Let's stand here and change sides. Two more legs. Alright, moving on to the next side. So, guys, cardio is not the only thing you have. Strength training is extremely important, especially for women. A lot of women tend to go to do cardio exercises. Very, very important that you get some weights and get those muscles working. Last time we left here. Let's move on to the next exercise. Let's find the specific light weights, guys, and slowly build up on them. Right. So, next one is going to be a box jump. And then we want to step up the center and just keep jumping. Up and down, remember to land softly on your toes every time, alright? Let there not be too much impact on your feet when you jump, guys. So, land softly, full extension, and you can get onto the box and then drop them off the box, alright? Easy reps, guys. Take your time, feel that arm in your calf muscles. Feel your legs. Bring your other leg, guys. Always come to the end of this workout. Last two reps. Just stay with me. Right legs are grinding up. Let's go a little 
last one on this one, yeah? Close down. And last one. Alright, so the last exercise for the day, we'll be doing 45 degree leg up action. And dropping onto your fours, and you're just going to be kicking back or falling back with the angle, just holding that foot. Don't be not twisting your head too much, so I'll stay square, one line with your shoulders, and we're going to keep pulsing as we hit 30 seconds, and we're going to change that. Right? As well, guys, this is the last exercise for today. Make sure you're doing your own hands. One more second. And then we'll change the side. Same thing, moving your leg up first. And put it in the angle. Just keep it. Right? And guys, have nothing after this. Just a glass of cold water. So keep working. A few reps here, guys. We're almost done here. Stay with me. Ten more seconds. Alright. And that's the end of your lower body workout, guys. 